Now we're heading into the holiday week and we are going to be seeing some changes, but you won't really notice the changes until after sunset. And I'm tracking not only some uh, cold conditions as this cold, cold front moves on shore tomorrow night, but dropping snow levels, some of the lowest levels we've seen here in about a month or so. But I want people to go out and enjoy the sunshine right now because we're looking at temperatures close to 60 degrees throughout the metro area and really up and down the I-5 corridor. Here's a live look now as we look toward the West Hills. Clear skies with a temperature of 57 degrees. Now I want to kind of switch gears and talk about the changes we're going to be looking at heading into tomorrow night and into Sunday. So heavy snow showers move in Saturday night. Snow level will be right around 2000 feet or so. But again, if the uh, cold air is in place and the showers are heavy enough, we could see it drop down about 1500 feet, maybe 1000 feet. So the snow level, I'm having it down to about 2500 feet regardless, basically tomorrow night and into early Sunday morning. No lowland snow, but it's going to be very cold next week. But by the time that cold air arrives, we're going to start to see some dry conditions out there. So you're going to want to dress for the conditions heading into much of next week on the satellite and radar. We have that ridge of high pressure in place. It's giving a way to the, or almost spring like conditions. Like I said, highs close to 60 degrees throughout much of the metro area, and then we'll be seeing that front move on shore really after sunset tomorrow. We'll be seeing some light showers moving along the coast by the late morning, early part of the afternoon. And because of the uh, uh, the snow showers we're going to be seeing, we do have some advisories, but again, rainfall amounts by the end of the weekend could easily be close to a quarter to a third of an inch of rain. So as we look at the future cast, we'll put this into motion tomorrow morning. We just have overcast skies, but we go at the later part of the day you can see widespread showers late tomorrow night and into Sunday. Nothing but snow showers throughout the Oregon Cascades. Now we're not going to be seeing much in terms of lowland snow, like I said, but uh, basically some of us waking up early Sunday morning could see a little bit of some light accumulation just above the West Hills. Don't expect to see much in terms of a lot of accumulation heading into the weekend. Though. So showers arrive after sunset tomorrow, high tomorrow of 48 degrees, and we're going to be seeing some very cold conditions heading into next week with daytime highs right around the uh, mid to the upper 30s, basically from Tuesday, Wednesday, and we'll start to see a little bit of warm up, you guys, heading into later part of next week.